So here is AutoCAD 2020. Notice the new darker theme. And you can see that the icons look sharper and more detailed. There seems to be a little bit more depth to them and that was intentional. So the icons for the most part are the same, just slightly tweaked and enhanced to kind of bring it into, you know, 2020. Now, if you're not digging the dark theme, if you go into the options and you go to the display tab, notice I'll have the option to switch to the light mode. And when I click OK, notice how the colors kind of reverse, but I still get that crispness, the crispness, that, that detail on the icons. So the icons are still refreshed. It's just that you get the lighter theme to work with. So I personally prefer the darker theme, so I'm going to stick with, with the dark theme as my color theme in this instance. Now probably my two favorite features outside of the new dark theme, which I love, is purge and the revamped insert command. So I'm going to start on the manage tab and notice that there's two options to access purge now. We can use the find non-purgeable items and we can use purge. Now both actually start the same command. Notice that by selecting purge, it initiates the purgeable items option. But if I click find non-purgeable items, it fires up the exact same dialog, but brings me to the find non-purgeable items. Now if I go into the application menu and I go into the drawing utilities, what I'll find in here is just purge. And if I was to type purge or type PU to start the command, it'll take me to the purgeable items. So this too is, is a bit revamped. First off is we can see that it's resizable and that includes all the panels within here. In fact, you can also expand, auto expand. You can um, resize the preview option. So notice I'm able to resize that as well as minimize it. Um, and I can also um, do the same thing with the options if I wanna see a bigger preview. So I'm just clicking arrows to resize that. Now notice that in the options, they separated um, the zero length geometry and the empty text object. So there's two separate options now. And it made, made it a little bit clearer to see what you are selecting. So you notice that I get the check mark on the items that I'm selecting the purge. Or if I click the entire category, then we can see that they're all selected. Now the, the process still works exactly the same. So I'm actually going to not do the blocks, but I'm going to do the dimension styles is that I can say purge checked items or I can click purge all. So purge checked items will only select or purge remove what I've got selected and purge all does everything regardless of what's selected. Now, you know, the resizable dialog box is nice. What I really appreciate is I appreciate that when I select something in the non-purgeable item, I still get the preview. It gives me a possible reason, but what I can see here is I can see the name of the object, the size, the references, and what I can tell right now is that there's no zoom to option. So what that means is that this block is not currently you know, insert or existing within the drawing. So it's probably used within, within a block. So here I can see that this block cannot be purged because it is attached to an XREF drawing. So I can, I can scroll down here and I can see more details about it. If I take a look at this other block here, Again, we can see details about, you know, why is it used? Why can I not get rid of it? So little things like that, that I really appreciate, um, you know, that little extra information to help explain, you know, why I can't remove it, why I can't delete it. Um, and in lots of instances, a little button that I can toggle, a little zoom right to where that object is. Well, on the topic of blocks, I'm gonna go to the insert tab and the gallery is still there, so the gallery hasn't changed. It's been there for the past couple of releases. What's different is that notice across the bottom here, the messaging or the options were there has changed slightly. So if I just pick a block and I just insert it, then it's just like it has been for, again, past number of releases within the gallery. But if I choose one of the options in the bottom here, notice that it fires up a palette. So what's gone is the What's gone is the insert dialog and what we have in its place is a palette. And it just makes sense. You know, the tool palettes, the design center, the properties palette, they're all palettes. 
and it makes sense that insert follows the same suit. So there's three tabs here. Here's the current drawing. Here's some recent drawings or recent blocks that I've was uh, working with. And then there's other drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the dot 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 button here and I'm going to browse and I'm going to select uh, another block or another sorry another drawing to use that I want to have kind of semi permanently listed there and accessible for me. So I'm going to select a drawing and what we're going to see now is that those those blocks are available. Now from the current drawing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this man block. And now I can see on the recent list that that's the last block I inserted. So let's open another drawing. I'm just going to open one of the, the sample drawings here just so we can get another drawing open. And what we're going to see is that notice that the man block is still the you know, last block I used. And even though it doesn't exist in this drawing yet, I can click on it and I can insert it into the drawing. So the recent drawings list is persistent between drawings and between sessions. It will always show you the last used blocks. So as long as that drawing hasn't been renamed or moved, you'll have access to those blocks. At any time, you can click the Browse button and go and find a different drawing to use. You can also right-click and you can remove from the, from the recent list. So that maybe you don't want that block to appear on the recent list, so you can remove that. Notice that the options on the right click that I can insert, insert and redefine, I can insert and explode, so I get various options. On the other drawings, like I said, is I can load in different drawings. And from here what I can do is I'm able to insert this block from that drawing. So it's kind of like using you know, kind of this mini design center where I have access directly to the blocks. Now, to change the view and the icons, I can go to the little drop-down, and from the drop-down, I could change this maybe to medium. Maybe on this tab, what I want, so I want this one to be small, and then within the current drawing, I would like to have a list. So again, it's persistent, so you know, as I switch drawings, as I go back and forth between the various drawings, know if those settings are persistent, and same thing if I was to shut AutoCAD and come back into it. Now what I like is that at the bottom here is where I set my options. So right now it's going to prompt me for the insertion point, but maybe what I'd like to do is I'd like to scale this. So what I'd like to do is uniformly scale this two times. Notice I have an enabled scale, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that screw, and we can see that it came in two times. Now if I was to enable rotation now, and I pick that same block, notice that it's still scaled two times, it prompts me to pick the insertion point. Now it's prompted me for the rotation because I have that option enabled. One thing that's new here is the new option to repeat the replacement. So we'll just select the bolt again. Notice that after I picked the first insertion point, it allows me to continue picking points until I click escape or hit the spacebar or press enter. So there's that new repeat placement in there. Notice that this is also collapsible, so it's kind of a set it and forget it thing. You set your desired options, you minimize it, gives you more access or more real estate within the palette and to insert and remove blocks. Now this is a palette, so it can be resized, it can be docked, and it can be anchored. So again, my top fav three favorite features or enhancements with 2020. This is a new dark theme. It's really sharp. I appreciate the purge and the little details they put in there to help you you know a little bit clearer be able to get a bigger preview be able to um, you know, get more details about why something's not purged and then my favorite feature is this new revamped redesigned insert feature which allows me to work with block from the current drawing you know recent blocks and then pick a drawing source that I can use to insert blocks now if you would like the old insert command you can start insert and it's done through the classic insert command so this hasn't gone away um, the command line driven in this dialog box are still available if you prefer that method over the palette now just to, to wrap this up one other feature that um, I do like is the new quick measure feature and notice that how this works is you just simply start moving your cursor. So as I'm moving throughout the object, the drawing here, notice how dimensions are popping up. 
So it's showing me radiuses and diameters and angles. And all I'm doing is just moving my cursor around. The minute I press spacebar or escape or enter, it goes away and I can continue working with it. So plenty of new features within 2020. Um, I think it's a, a great release. I see no reason why you shouldn't start using it and start using it today.